long time no see if you just watch my grocery hauls i'm vegan brie brie brianna i talk about all things vegan and cruelty free mainly beauty but sometimes trader joe's hauls because we went to visit my mom who lives near trader joe's someday we will live near trader joe's so if you like grocery hauls if you're interested in eating more plant-based or you do like vegan cruelty free with a little sprinkle of grocery hauls or you just want some i don't know things that i get at trader joe's or things that we get as vegans i would subscribe and like this video because um that's kind of content i do vegan and cruelty free everything and anything mainly beauty but sometimes grocery hauls and other things sprinkled in so this is new to me this is bold rock which is a maryland company we live in frederick maryland Bold Rock, hard cider, gluten-free, if you didn't know. And it's seasonal strawberry lime. This is really good. We had this on ice earlier today, and it's very fresh. We have some animal crackers for my little ones. Organic animal crackers. We have some soft-baked sunflower butter cookies of su roasted sunflower seeds. Vegan and gluten-free. Allergen-friendly. Those are really good. They are soft. Mini sweet peppers. My littlest one, my three-year-old, loves sweet peppers. And then we have a salad mix. We have the... Romaine and chicory blend with a blend of romaine, frise, and radicchio. I always say I'm gonna chop up lettuce and that never happens and we wanna eat more salads. And vegan banana bread with walnuts. If you didn't know, I really do not like bananas, but my kids like them. Easy breakfast, even though this probably is not gonna last this week. Um, this usually only lasts a few days in this house. Then we have my oldest, my five-year-old, wanted some juice. She asked me if this was vegan. <laughs> It's a cold pressed pineapple juice, just pineapple juice. And then two salad dressings, green goddess dressing and the vegan Caesar. This is like the Hershey, which I think the Hershey syrup is actually vegan. You didn't know it's like accidentally vegan, but this, and so is this. This is the organic midnight moo chocolate syrup. My, both my kids like chocolate milk, but especially my youngest. So that's what we get and it's organic, which is awesome. Then we also have some organic sweet globe green seedless grapes. It's neat, missing an S there, but you know, whatever, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. The, yeah, we love grapes. It was a decent deal. And then we have, this is for my mother-in-law, the non-dairy oat creamer, brown sugar. She asked me to get her this and then she ended up going to a different Trader Joe's today. And I also got her one of these too. These olive fagazis. Fagosis, these are really, really good. Put them in the fridge though, because they will go bad quickly. So I got two, one for me, one for her. And then the Dr. Bronner Pure Castile Bar Soap. I feel like we've gotten this, but maybe we've only gotten the liquid, but I don't know. Thought I'd get that for a bunch of stuff. My beloved sunflower seeds that have been sold out and I've been having to get, having to resort to getting other sunflower seeds whatever. I like the roasted and the salted sunflower seeds from Trader Joe's. I got two bags of those. And then we love trail mix. We just love nuts and I don't know, snacking. But my kids and my hubby are going to go for this pretty quickly. The almonds, cranberries, and cashews trek mix. And then we have two of the shredded spicy Mexican style cheese alternatives. Really, really delicious. Then we have... These are new, these peas and carrots, sour candy, sour gummy candies. These saved us in the store. Maybe this is my littlest one who's kind of not having it, but yeah, they're fruit flavored. Um, I haven't actually not tried these, but my littlest one um, gave two thumbs up. So, you know, we've got three of those. Well, we had four actually, three as of now that I've not been eating. I, didn't, I was checking to see if this is vegan. And I don't see anything that would make it not vegan, but you know, I like my lip masks. I ran out of the one I had, so I thought I'd pick this up. Everything at Trader Joe's is cruelty free, not tested on animals. So yeah, vanilla lip scrub. These are vegan, um, accidentally vegan, but they are vegan. The hold a cone tips with wa their waffle, waffle cone tips filled with dark chocolate. I thought that sounded really yummy and a snack. Then we had the organic maple syrup. 100% maple syrup is just, it, it just, it's different. Okay. It is the best. Then I have four Misfit bars, the plant powered chocolate protein bar, 15 grams of protein. The chocolate caramel one, also 15 grams of protein. Those are so good. The fruit leather wraps, my kids love those. I've got every single flavor, as well as our That's It bars pretty much, but it's a fruit bar, it's just apples and strawberries. Mang we got mangoes, we got all of them. And then JoJo's, that's my husband said accidentally, ended up in the cart. <laughs> as always, I'm surprised they haven't been opened. Because usually he says that somebody accidentally opened it. No, there's a JoJo tax. There's a JoJo tax. 
the chocolate vanilla cream sandwich cookies, aka Oreos. Then we have the pimp pimp quat popcorn with nutritional yeast, onion, sea salt, and garlic. And then the teeny tiny avocados, tea tree oil. This is a so it's wrapped in plastic, even though it's actually a plastic-free deodorant. We not tried that yet. We got the hot chocolate sticks, so those are probably on their way out. And then we have the maple agave, maple blue agave syrup, grilled olives from my father-in-law. We were out of jam. My oldest always eats peanut butter jelly sandwiches every day for school. Organic reduced sugar, strawberry preserves, pick that out. And then little teeny tiny cucumbers. And then we got the garlic shiitake green beans with mushroom sauce. We have not tried these. These look really yummy. And just easy to make for dindins for dinner. Bagels, of course, if you didn't know, we love our bagels, especially my kids. So the mini plain bagels and this is the plain bagels. Tortillas, the home style ones, live love tortillas. The vegan spinach and cashew raviolis. Almond chipotle dip, it tastes like the um, B-I-T-C-H-I-N sauce. Because you got little ears, organic, buttery, plant-based spread. And then I believe this is new, these pretzel breadsticks, twisty, rustic, pretzel-like breadsticks. My mother-in-law watches my youngest during the day and she eats everything in her house and at our house. So I thought I was, I, I stocked up with some snacks. Synergy, I don't know if I tried this peach paradise one. I like kombucha, but I like watering it down. So like half kombucha, half water but I haven't tried this one out yet. So peach paradise it is. Vegan pepperoni, plant-based alternative, and it's sliced. Light life, smart dogs. And then these I were not vegan prior. I don't believe these. I remember a couple years ago, my husband got me these and they had, what did they have Rob, eggs? Yeah, they had a binder. They had like a binder, I think they had eggs in them, but now they are vegan. It's the sausage, the sausage. And then the maple pancake flavor puffs, corn and rice snacks, also gluten-free. Yogurts, we got the strawberry and the vanilla, creamy cashew yogurts. Overnight oats, the apple and the strawberry flavor. I don't think I've tried either one of those. I like overnight oats. I'm just I make overnight, overnight oats, but sometimes it's just easy. They'll get the mushes. This is also for my father-in-law, the just a handful of olives, pitted, salted, man, manzanilla olives. Cauliflower gnocchi, impossible nuggets, Korean beefless bulgogi, one of our favorites. The vegetable bird's nest, the plant-based fish fillets, handsome cut potato fries. The we haven't gotten these in a while. These giant Peruvian Inca corn snacks, salted vegan vegan cream cheese alternative. I was drinking this earlier. This chocolate almond protein powder. It is very. It's, uh, it, it, you can definitely taste the protein powder in it, but you know, as a meal replacement, or I don't, I don't know if you want to try it. It's not bad, but I wouldn't say like, oh my god, it's the most chocolatey smoothie I've ever had in my life. But it is 23 grams of protein, which is awesome. It is O and P protein based, fully cooked falafel, Spanish rice, so good. We love those. Two of those. Got one for my mother-in-law, and then the gluten and dairy-free homestyle pancakes. And then these corn ribs. That is what I got. And in Virginia, there is a huge sales tax. So the sales tax was, the ta I got taxed basically like $35, which is crazy. We usually buy, um, we live in Maryland now, but I'm, a, I'm from Virginia. And yeah, so that was my haul. I miss Trader Joe's. I think this is the longest I have not gone in a long time. Let me know if you have any questions about how stuff tastes. I was requested to do some meal videos, but my meals are very, we throw them together pretty quick. Stay safe, healthy, and do something that makes you happy. Bye.